Newt Gingrich is the newest GOP frontrunner, but he's certainly not new to politics. From his first days in Congress way back in the 1970s to his rise as Speaker in the 90s, our next guest is writing the book on Newt, literally. Joining us right now is the author of Citizen Newt, The Rise, Fall, and Future of Speaker Gingrich. Uh, that's coming out in the spring. And right now he's got a great brand new New York Times bestseller called December 1941. Mr. Craig Shirley joins us live from D.C. Craig, good morning to Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Good morning. Hey, um, Newt Gingrich has really invent, reinvented himself, hasn't he? I mean, he rose to speaker, then he flamed out, went away. He's back and bigger than ever. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. You know, F. Scott Fitzgerald said there are no second acts in American life. But as a matter of fact, many successful politicians have reinvented themselves. Uh, Richard Nixon, before his successful comeback in 1968, was known as Dick Nixon, political hatchet man. But when he went through his new Nixon phase, he became Richard M. Nixon, world statesman. Reagan had many bites of the apple and failed before he finally won the presidency. Uh, and same thing with uh, Bill Clinton. There's, there's something that all these four men have in common is that they have a durability in American politics and right. all four have been written off by the intelligentsia at, one, at some point in their uh, careers and all have come back through sheer force of their own will. Sure. Of course, he does have a history. He has worked with a lot of people on Capitol Hill. It's interesting. I yes. was reading, I think, at thehill.com. I was looking at the number of congressional endorsements, people in Congress who are endorsing uh, Newt versus Mitt. Mitt Romney's got 50. And right. I think right now Newt Gingrich has only got six. And I, I think I've heard from uh, all of the six on television supporting him, but I've heard from a lot of people who used to work with him saying, you know, didn't like his management style. It seemed like everything was always a crisis. Right. Well, if you, uh, if you were to ask him, and in fact I have asked him for the book, uh, he would say that th he's running an unconventional type of campaign, and sure. I think everybody would agree, uh, is that he's really trying to focus on his ideas. And so it's it's not so much about the endorsements as he is about the endorsement of ideas, and right. that's how he... Romney's running a very uh, uh, typical type of campaign, but what we're seeing evolve, uh, Steve, is the same thing that's happened in the Republican Party over the last 40 years with Goldwater versus Rockefeller, Reagan versus Ford, uh, Reagan versus Bush, and now that same dynamic is playing out again with Gingrich, right. the conservative, versus Romney, the moderate. Right, but that was then, and this is now. And right. I, I've heard people who have known him for a very long time, and you certainly have uh, have a history with him. He, Newt is uh, Newt 2.0 is a more mellow guy. He's a different guy than the guy who was speaker. Oh, I think there's no doubt about it that uh, that he's. Uh, uh, but but Reagan had changed also, and a lot of these uh, uh, men, as they uh, get closer to. Uh, d deeper into presidential politics, they, I think they start to reflect more deeply on what the meaning of it is and the presidency it is. Uh, let's face it, the most important man of the world is the president of the United States and has been ever since the time of FDR. Uh, but his faith, his uh, conversion, his marriage, a lot is, is uh, he sure. talks a lot about his grandchildren, and right. there's no doubt over many years that he's evolved and become, I think, more reflective and more thoughtful. Right. And uh, Mitt Romney now taking a shot at uh, Newt and his family life. Uh, Mitt's right. got this new ad out called Leader. Uh, talks about being married for decades and decades, a shot at the fact that Newt Gingrich has been married three times. It's, it's the way the game is played. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's, there are no real rules anymore. It's a steel cage match, and it's up to Gingrich to see how he handles it and responds to it. Right. Well, people certainly love to see him at the debates. Uh, real briefly, you got a new book out December 1941, 31 Days That Changed America and Saved the World. Folks, if you want a good read this uh, Christmas season, check it out. Craig, we thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank informative you, Steve. segment. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right.